Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how, to, how showing you how to implement Vault into your plugins. So let's get started. So make sure you have Vault already. You can you can get it from dev.bucket.org slash you know bucket plugins Vault. Make sure to download the newest version and then import it if you haven't, like I have. So I've just made a simple plugin here that allows you to get how much money you have. Pretty straightforward, basic permissions. You know, checking if the player is a player, uh, checking if the command center is player, all that simple stuff you should have hopefully learned in other tutorials, if not check out the other videos on this channel and you will see the explanations behind all of those if you don't understand. Now, okay, so once we've imported Vault, now Vault, thank God, has a, pretty much an example of everything here. So, so we're going to be focusing on the economy. So there's three things we need to do. Now, first of all, we'll follow this notice. Don't forget to add soft depend or depend to your plugin.yml. So let's do that right now. So then we will head over to our plugin.yml. I'll open externally. So then, okay, so what we want to do is type in depend vault. So the, what that means is basically when you boot up, when the plugin, when the sorry, when the server loads, when it tries to load this plugin, it will like it basically if vault isn't running, it will wait until vault has started running. Now, if for whatever reason vault doesn't run, it will, an exception will be thrown because vault isn't there and it will just kind of break from there, unknown de dependency. So, okay, so sorry about that. So the way we do this now. I have an external editor set up, Notepad++, so whenever I edit these files, I have to close out of it, and then refresh the, um, yeah, the space is just a, you know, refresh the file system, because that's how Eclipse works. Anyway, so, okay, so once we have that, so that's one of the two step, uh, three steps you have to do. So then we need to pretty much import the code that we want here. So we need to define a new economy. Define a new economy. Okay, so we'll just import that. Give a second. Okay, that's good. So now we need to. Actually, I'm gonna. Uh, right, so we'll just do it like that. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. So we will copy the setup economy. We'll head back to Eclipse. And we'll paste it in on Enable. So then, Control Shift O to automatically import everything, which is fantastic. So then we'll run the setup economy method. So, just a bit of revision so far. So what we've done is we have defined a new economy object which as run by the vault API and then we've put in a setup economy method which basically allows um, vault to well yeah pretty much set up the economy basically so like we can now make because the, the, currently economy is null it's not very useful so what we can do is basically use the economy object now to do economy based stuff bit confusing but nonetheless Let's head, so let's head straight over to the my command where we will take it like we'll finish up the plugin. So you you have dollar sign nothing. Well that that's pretty easy. So we have in our uh, get command when we set the executor we you know obviously have a constructor we are of the plugin. So that means we can access plus plugin dot economy. Just remembering that that. Is this object as this is public dot economy dot get balance and then this is the username so in this case we'll do p dot get name and that is pretty much it it's pretty straightforward vault isn't very confusing now just show you the lots of stuff you can do you can do things like if an economy plugin su um, supports banks you can do bank stuff you can take away money that's deposit. Sorry, that's withdraw. You can add money like that. You can check if a player has an account or if the plugin has bank support. You can do lots of stuff, which is really fantastic and it's really helpful. It's one of the best APIs out there. I think it's actually the only one. I haven't heard of any others. So anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and compile this plugin and give it a shot and I'll show you the demonstration as I don't have a test server currently running. Sad face. Okay, so I've just logged into my localhost dev service. So as let's check the plugins list. So we have Vault, Essentials, and Vault Example. I'm using Essentials because it has economy support. It's, it's straightforward. Now, so we registered the command money. So let's type slash money, and as you can see, it tells me that I have ten thousand and one dollars. Now you might be wondering why is there an extra 
um, point zero. Wait, yet. I'm sorry. On well, essentials is money. Uh, command doesn't now because essentials doesn't uh, I believe doesn't allow um, decimal values or double values. Now essentials the get uh, uh, get balance command re returns a double, meaning having a decimal point or something like that. Pretty close to that definition. It's probably way off, but nonetheless, um, the issue is we've basically now you'd have to cast it to an int. If you wanted to get rid of the final um, decimal, not too hard. But nonetheless, that is vault the, a successful vault implement implementation. Pretty straightforward. Um, it goes for the same with permissions and stuff. How for the permissions and chat. However, permissions is a bit more confusing. Anyway, thank you for watching this demo tutorial. And Dirt Shock, I think you're a cool guy.